Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 16. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, we are here with the Class A Championship. These are open to cars in Class A, as it says in the title. We're going to be taking the Ferrari 612. Uh, starting off with Mazda Raceway, Laguna Seca, moving on to Sunset Peninsula Speedway, Maple Valley, New York, and then finishing off with Road America. Let's get started. Let's do attempt number two. We got pretty much to the finish line. We had two corners left to go, and we lost our position to that guy, the Corvette. So uh, our objective for this is to spin the Corvette out. If the Corvette gets spun out, we've done a good job. What the hell was that? Ferrari buddies. Okay, so the Ferrari's gotten the better acceleration off the line, but problem is the Ferrari is slower. As we found out. It is much slower than the Ford, it's slower than the Corvette, and it's slower than the Dodge. So we have to use this time sparingly because that Ferrari, once it loses the position, we've got slightly faster cars. Coming up straight from behind. And they're hot on my heels as well. Oh! See what I mean? What are you doing? Fuck me! Stay back, Ferrari. This is really difficult as well, because, like, a third of the engine noises in this game are broken. I think it's a glitch to do with the emulation side, because, obviously, this game is emulated on the 360. Because I doubt they would have shipped this game with so many engine errors. So. You never know. It might have. Oh, this is really close. I don't like this at all. I think as well, we're recording uh, episode 16 today, if I'm not mistaken. So, pretty cool so far. Oh, look, the Dodgers wrecked it and wrecked everyone else's race except the Corvette. And the Ferrari. Okay, lovely. Cheers, Dodge. You've actually given us a little bit of an assistance. Get your ass back. Ah, oh, and the Ferrari's messed up the Corvette. Let's go. We've got some more space. This is going to be tough. I think some of these events are ridiculously difficult compared to any of the other Forza games, to be honest. But then again, I'm pretty shit at driving in this game because it's not very smooth. I'm a lot better in the other games that run at 60 frames and all that. So. We're going on, going on. Good bit of a pendulum today. There you go, the Ferrari's engine came back for a microsecond. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. I'd start using the uh, Y button a lot more for looking back. 
Because it is the best button to use. Oh my god, the Ferrari's binned it. That's really not ideal. I have to hold a Corvette off. Oh, fuck me. I don't know if I'm getting away. That's the problem. Because this game can be quite deceiving sometimes. Okay, the vet has enough distance. My kneecaps are warm again. This hex box is really hot. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, the Corvette's chasing me. I know I cut the corner dramatically, but I'm not doing this event again. <laughs> Fuck it. Alright. We got it. Whoo! That was very close. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take that. 23 grand. And we're going to move on. And get the hell out of here. Alright. Time for the speedway. This is where I can tell if the car really is underpowered. And we need to look at a different vehicle. Oh, we got a wild Sinsu in the chat. What is up? Hello, Sinsu. Welcome. I got hit with an ad. Oh dear. That means money for me. <laughs> Fuck this. Ferrari, get back. Welcome back, Sinsu. Welcome back. The ad is gone. I think we're managing to get away with this only by the skin of our teeth, to be honest. Like, we are just getting away with it. Bit of drum and bass. What the fuck is that noise? I can hear a noise. Note to self, Mark 40 has shit brakes. Note to self, don't drive a Ferrari into a wall. Oh my god. Yeah, the Mark 40, uh, I, I assume that's the uh, Mustang. In which case, yeah. Pretty much all Mustangs, all muscle cars have shit brakes. Because America doesn't make good cars all round. They go power on, focus on the power. Not the actual rest of the car.
Oh, we had a lead as well. There's no damage. Okay. I've blocked. I've defended. Oh my god, the Ferrari lifted so much. What the hell? I didn't have to lift. So that's where I'm getting the distance. Alright. So I think the way Gran Turismo Sport, uh, Gran Turismo 7 does ABS, it does it slightly differently. So it it has the ABS feature, but it's a realistic ABS. It's not just, oh, the brakes just don't lock at all. You'll still have that lock-in sensation, so it will go straight, but it will turn just not very well, like in a real car. All right, let's do this. We've uh, swapped to the Ferrari uh, 360, because that other Ferrari was rubbish. Oh, this is so much better. So much better. Why didn't we start with this one? Do you know, I always end up doing... the A lot of these events, It's they are really bad. Because there is always one specific car that will trump every other car in a majority of these events. You do not see it. Okay, I will try and find you a link um, to my affiliation page after this race for you, Aaron. It's a, it's a good place for you to get uh, PC games and stuff like that. So, to get cheap PC games. Well, they're not, always, they're not the cheapest. But uh, they give money to charity, so props to that, I guess. She's in the bathroom. Maybe she's resting up. Maybe she was out late. Oh, this is so much better. Oh! Ah, oh, fuck. I've messed up my uh, rear left brake a tiny bit. Uh, sort of, but G2A is a key selling site. Um, Humble Bundle was a key buying site. So the difference is Humble Bundle will generate. Like, keys will be given by vendors. Like, by actual game developers. Um, so they're sort of authorised. Uh, G2A and, um, what's it called? Enneburst, stuff like that. They're all sort of just, people own a key, they'll sell you it for whatever price they want to sell it at. Um, whereas, obviously on Humble Bundle it is sold straight from developers kind of thing. Half of the time the keys are donated and then the money that's actually paid it just goes straight to charity. Um, other half of the time they are not all to charity. I think about 20% of it will go to charity or something like that. Humble Bundle is crazy for that kind of stuff. That's why when a new game comes out, rather than me pre-ordering it on Steam... I will buy it on Humble Bundle, get the key, and then I'll have the pre-order on Steam anyways. But I'm giving 20% to charity for the same price. So, not bad. I then feel much better about <laughs> spending money on gaming. Ba-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
Because uh, what, what they've got, they've got a calculator feature where you type in your Steam username and as long as your Steam profile is semi-public, um, it can work out the exact value of your Steam library. And uh, my Steam library is £3,500 worth of Steam games. Granted, I haven't spent all that on the games, but that's the value of my Steam library. And I think at any given time, the sale value is like about a thousand something. Yeah, you can just type in steamdb.com or just put steamdb in Google and it will come up. Quite simple. But it's, uh, it literally, when you search up your username, says, um, get disappointed about your life choices or something like that instead of a search button. So you literally are almost being mocked by the website as well. It's funny. There you go. Meow. Lovely jubbly. 459. Not bad. 20 grand. Not bad. Again. We're going back. It's time for the Ferrari. Around New York. This Ferrari has a much better sounding engine. Because it actually exists. Ah, uh, a little bit of contact. That's fine. I've just realised there's three laps as well. That's not very nice. I don't appreciate having a three-lap race, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Not bad. I'm pretty sure the uh, wing mirror just went into the wall then. Out of that corner. Kind of impressive. We're going back. I went horribly wrong. But luckily I crashed the car just right that it didn't do any damage. I've sort of worked out how to crash in this game. That it benefits me. It's probably not ideal. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if we can hit all our daily. Uh, I can't speak. All our daily goals today. That'd be pretty sick. that corner up big time. Right. Let's move on to lap number two. There we go. Very nice. This car's slower on the straights. I will admit it is a, a tad slower than the other Ferrari. However, the other Ferrari struggled to even get out of fifth gear. Not bad. Not bad. This car sounds turbocharged. Engine noises are weird for this game. 
I think they were weird for all the Forzas up until Forza 3, maybe 4 even. I think 3 still had a little bit of bugs in the um, sounds of the engines. Oh, actually, what would be quite cool to see is if the Bugatti is in um, Forza Motorsport 2. Because I know the Bugatti was made, or the Bugatti Veyron was made the same year as this game came out. I think it was 2005. So potentially we could see the Bugatti Veyron in Forza Motorsport 2. And my goal is to try and get the Bugatti Veyron. It's like a little personal goal because the Bugatti Veyron, if anyone doesn't know, is my favorite childhood car. It's just beautiful. Um, and obviously it's in every single Forza game. Except for one. And I'm not sure about two. But I know it's in three onwards. It's in all of them. So my goal is to try and get it in every single game. I know in uh, Motorsport 3 you get it at level 25 for free. So... That's not a problem. I'll get the car for free on Motorsport 3. I'm not sure about Motorsport 4 and the other Forzas. Potentially, but not guaranteed. I also do find it uh, quite interesting that every Forza game has had a different speedo design for it. Every single Forza game. There's 12 generations of Speedos. <laughs> to where you belong. To where you belong. This is a tune. Joe, you know, I, I am kind of... I'm glad Pendulum are back. But I am so gutted that for 10 years they just didn't make any music. Like, it almost seems like a waste of talent. And it's almost like, oh shit, they've ran out of money. Not that they've ran out of money because I think their music was so popular that... They've just been getting so much passive income for the past 10 years. But I do feel like it was like, oh, we need more. Let's come back. Like, I think they should have come back sooner. It's sort of the same story with Nero at the moment. So Nero hasn't made an album since 2015. And their last single was 2018, which was the first single they had made since their album. So they haven't made any proper songs. Obviously, they've made remixes, but not their own. It's kind of a shame. So I would like to see Nero... I, I know they put a tweet out about six months ago saying that their album's nearly done, but, like, it was six months ago now. If you've got a 12-track album coming out... Because that's what the uh, tweet said. Then where is it? <laughs> kind of thing. A little bit of a shame. But. It is what it is. Belong. Meow. I think we might actually change the music for Nero. Because why not? Uh, I'm going to save replay for this one. We're going to use this replay as the uh, thumbnail image. Not bad. 21 grand. Okay, Road America. Let's get this done. I just want to get this championship done because I've lost three races already so far. I just want to get this out of my sight. The sooner, the better.
Oh, you got me joking me. Fuck you, fuck you. Right, carry on. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Oh! This thing is quick, actually. I think I've really got to look into getting a um, solid state drive for my PC. Because uh, when it comes to editing some of these videos, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Especially when it comes to some of the endurance events. When I'm going to be dealing with like 30 minute clips. Maybe even an hour long. Like uh, the last event is. Because the last event of this game. Which would be the level 50 endurance race. Is um, an hour and one minute. It's quite long. So. I think I need an SSD to make that loading time just a little less shit I don't want to get like a normal NVMe though uh, uh, a SATA one I want to get an NVMe because it just makes sense Not bad. Now, now, now. Here we go, nice. Not bad. Now, now, not bad. Now, now. Mm hmm. There we go. 436, not bad. And we got ourselves to level 27. Got some intercooler discounts. And another car the Ferrari F355 Challenge. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.